Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Alexander Hilly 1, 2, 3 here. So I have a chapter 10 of my Dead Space 2 hardcore difficulty walkthrough, and I'm very annoyed. Chapter 9, if anybody watched it, the microphone audio was lower than usual. I'm just the same distance right now than I have been for the rest of the playthrough, but inexplicably, it's lower. And the game's volume was also at 100% after I told it to go to 25%. And then it just like resets. And it's like, what is going on here? I'm using the Movave movie editor, which is one I purchased for about three years ago, about £30. It's a pretty low end one, but it should do what I need it to do. I think now things are okay. I'm just looking at the kind of balance of the audio when I speak. It's a very limited thing, but. It should be okay, but if the audio is not as high, then I might well throw this laptop out the window and get pissed off. Anyway, let's hope it's fixed now, and let's concentrate on the gameplay, because chapter 10 is probably the longest chapter in the game. This video is 35 minutes long, and there's some of the hardest set pieces in the game in this chapter. Overall goes pretty well, it's a few bad moments, we'll speak about them when we get there, but I really like how chapter 10 opens up with absolutely nothing happening. When you anticipate it happening, and then it all happens at once, and shit really goes down. Back on the Ishimura. I'm finally going to get the, the vintage suit. In this chapter, I keep calling it the Vantage Suit for some reason. Maybe that'll be in Dead Space 4 in 40 years time when that comes out, but there is no Vantage Suit, ladies and gentlemen. I've got three nodes, so we're going to do something here. We certainly are. Let's see what I end up doing. Oh, he's going for the TK. TK has been maxed out. Insanely damaging now. Good for ammo conservation. And the speed of the force gun. Maybe not the best upgrade. I don't really use the force gun consecutively, but just in case I do, let's improve the speed. It's really cool how this game's graphics are better than the first game. Like they are noticeably better, but they take you back to the same place where the game was in, in Dead Space 1. I can't think of many games that have done that. Resident Evil 2 did, obviously, when you back, went back to the police station in 3. Probably are other games that I've never played that have done these, this kind of thing, but... This is a lot of people's favourite chapter in the game. Ishimura just had to be there by chance. Quite the coincidence. I like the fact that after the first game, you never thought that it had done this. Like people coming back to the ship to clean it up and everything. And really, what they should have done is blown the bloody thing up. Anyway, speaking of blowing things up. It's a brute. For some reason, I stasis that one twice. <laughs> you just see where the timed mine went there? Flew up in the air, but two timed mines, no kill. Regular brute. That's not an enhanced brute. Nevertheless, that is just absolutely outrageous. And I don't think there's any other weapon in the game that can do that kind of thing, other than the timed mine against such a strong, powerful, quick enemy. Right now, I've only got one line rack. There's a conductor. And now, we've got a lot of angry necros in the room. And I think this is the only time in the game where I accidentally split a pregnant open. And it's something you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. Swarmers are out in a boat. 
force gun coming in handy there for that situation. Fantastic. Fragment's been downed. The pulse rifles. Quick action fire. Coming to save our ass. Lining up quite a few TK shots. That guy's just flown to Africa. And I think this guy will too. See how he kind of ran to the right just to screw me over? These Necros are they're sneaky, ladies and gentlemen. you got to be wary of this kind of shit. Power node at the end of the room here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do if the audio isn't right. What I did for the last video was I put an apology at the start of the video. I made my... Well, all I could do was lower the game's audio. Because on this editor, I can't make my audio. I can't amplify it as far as I can tell. Like my microphone's audio. Why is it happening? I fucking hate technology and computers. I have had my blue snowball for over five years now. Any of you guys out there think it would be worth upgrading to the... What's the other one? The blue yeti? From a blue snowball? Is it better? Is it worth the upgrade or not? I've had this for over five years and... Overall, it does what I need it to. It's the best and most common mid-range microphone. What I mean by mid-range is what most people... The most common... I'm not looking to be professional here or anything. Well, I want people to hear me. The vintage suit, ladies and gentlemen, this is a piece of shit. It looks awful. It looks dumb. But you get a discount at the store. And if I get a discount at the store, I don't care how dumb I look. But we also get more armor and more inventory slots, and that is very important too. With Dead Space 3, all the suits, I just don't like any of them. With this game, they got more armor. Every suit, so you just upgrade them naturally. But with a third Dead Space game, there's one that you have to wear for kind of Arctic conditions and Tau Volantis. That was pretty cool, but overall, I didn't really like the suits in the third game. Apart from the Mass Effect one, which I never had because you've got to have a Mass Effect save file on your system. And I don't, so. Wow, so we've got one small med kit and one large med kit. And of course, I've still not made my second save here, ladies and gentlemen. And I was meant to make it a little bit later than I actually do. But I chicken out and make the save a little bit earlier than I was anticipating. Because I thought to myself, well, if I do die after the second save... I haven't lost that much progress, who cares, I'll be okay. Of course, I don't die at all during this run. This let's play walkthrough. But this decontamination room on the way back, we've got members of the pack, we've got an enhanced slasher and a puker. And it's a very, very tight area, as you can see in there, so... And the corridor coming up is insane. There's so many different spawns of enemies, but it's one that I always remember, and I contain it pretty well. There's lurkers, there's pukers, slashes, there's stalkers, there's everything apart from leapers, I think, bloody hell. And I make sure that I go all the way to the left of the power node, because if I go right, I don't know what the spawns will be like. But if I go to the left, I know exactly what the spawns are like here. This is so good though, because obviously you go through this same decontamination in the first game. So you're anticipating the enemies and here no. And then nothing happens. It happens on the way back. Sometimes in these kind of games, it's what doesn't happen 
that's a really fun and exciting cool thing I think personally but anyway here we go this room is madness we got a puker dispatched turn around we got a lurker he's already firing at me the motherfucker we've got a stalker on the floor get him in the way Let's line up the TK when they're up on the ceiling like that probably the easiest place to TK on and now I'm not going right we're going to the dead end because I know what the spawns are like if I go to the right I don't know how they're going to spawn in wow contact beam on an enhanced slasher done immediately going to see a lot more of the contact beam now until the end of the game. Pregnant's done. Extra slasher. I'm uh, not sure that he's always there. Missed the TK shot. Too many, <laughs> too many bodies in my way. Now this guy, as you can see here, stasis him and contact beam him. For some reason, when he pukes at you, that particular one, it tends not to work when you catch the puke. I don't know why. If you look to my left, there's a few uh, items and he can't in the game world and he hits them instead with his puke and you tend to drop the puke and get hurt. Not sure why, just having played this game a number of times, I remember that happening to me and I wasn't having it happen again. Anyway, I've got Deja Vu, we've killed a stalker and now we're killing a lurker, same exact spawn. One behind, very cheeky. Let's bring the force gun to the party, ladies and gentlemen. But I think you'll agree this room is batshit insane. Another pregnant. We're not done yet. Oh, I had to miss one. A bit of, bit of pause rage, but uh, I've no one to blame but myself, though. Look at the alt fire of the force gun, ladies and gentlemen. There's some people who think the force gun's garbage, but I don't know what world they're living in. Puker. Another slasher. And I know that guy's coming from the rear. You know, you play hardcore and you don't know where the spawns are coming from. That's a necro that is going to hit you and hit you hard. Like I said before, some of the spawns from the rear are quite obnoxious in this game, but it only gets worse with Dead Space 3. But coming out of this room is where I decide that I want to make my second save. It was meant to be a little bit later, like five, ten minutes later. But I'm like, no, I'm going to drop the save just a little bit earlier. I wouldn't say I was panicking at this point, but I was just worried about dying. And losing the progress. Nice little puzzle here. Not difficult at all, but breaks up the monotony of the gameplay. Not that I would call it monotonous in a bad way. This area is in the first dead space where people probably die in the first playthrough. I had the centrifuge just spinning round and completely obliterating them. Good times indeed. You're going to see the video actually. Well, I don't know if you'll notice it, but this is where I cut it up because I actually stopped the video halfway through the chapter here. It's the only time in the game where I make a save halfway through the chapter, so I decide, yeah, let's stop the video. I don't want to continue it in case I die. Yeah, you could notice it though.
towards the tram station. Okay. I've almost got us disconnected from the Magra. So I think this area, the decontamination room, goes pretty well. A little trick you can do here is drop the items down onto the floor and you can block the pack from uh, getting you immediately. Works pretty well here, but I still think I get hit once. But it's the puker and the enhanced slasher that you've got to be really wary of here. You've got to dispatch them quickly as possible. No point in flinging a body at any of them here to save ammo. Let's just get rid of them as quickly as possible. And one's behind me. Look at that. That guy's got the jukes. Bit of pause rage. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Right, he's getting stasis. I dropped that down. I don't know where the slasher is. There he is. Sometimes they drop down closer together. But look at that contact beam. Oh, oh my lord. He's getting the same treatment. He's getting the same treatment. Rinse and repeat. Both waves, the same move. Sometimes you can get unlucky with the splashback though. You can get hurt by the puke because the puke dies. Thankfully it didn't happen though because that is probably one of the most vulgar attacks in the game. It's not even an attack really, you're not getting attacked. <laughs> Anyway, that's a hard room. That's how I did it here. I'm pretty damn happy. Isaac, Struss is starting to worry me. Listen, I, I would never. I would never. But son, Daddy's not a monster. Struss, I would never hurt he's not real. Yes, he is. You can't see him because you haven't taken the steps, Struss. You will be put down. The step screwdriver. Step the famous three. Dead Space 2 screwdriver, ladies and gentlemen. It has entered proceedings. That infamous screwdriver is mentioned at least a good three or four more times. Some really cool areas now with the kind of blue fluorescent lights where it looks like someone's jizzed everywhere. I think everybody makes that joke the first time they play Dead Space 2. <laughs> Bit of shopping, and here's a slasher, ladies and gentlemen, with swarmers on him. Very annoying, this guy, because he doesn't take damage the way he should. Also very annoying, because he just decides to dance for a little bit and not run into the timed mine. But it's like I said earlier on in the walkthrough, when the slashers have got swarmers on them, you've got to do a little bit more damage to kill them. I'm used to that guy annoying me, basically. But this guy is flying off to Africa. See you in a bit. There'll be necromorphs in Africa. Painstakingly making sure I don't use any ammo on the swarmers for some reason. Just because I decided to. But by this stage, ladies and gentlemen, you know it's all about one force gun blast. And they're all done. Oh, Isaac. Damn it, that hurts. The blaster bit me. What? Ah, oh, shit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But he stopped talking. He won't look at me. How's it going at your end? And please tell me this plan is going to work. I'm almost there. I'm headed to the bridge now to activate the gravity tethers. Well, good. They're swarming into a hole in the medical deck. At least you won't have to go through there. Unexpected obstruction ahead. Shut him down. Welcome to the medical deck. Shit. 
Yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, good humour between Isaac and Ellie late in the game. And it really works. And I really appreciate it. We'll see that in Chapter 12 when we do the Drill Ride, which is absolutely bonkers. Definitely one of the harder parts of the game. Now, I, there's the pause rage, because I have no idea how that's happened. I've stasis the puker, and he's ended up puking at me, whilst I'm not looking at him. He's getting taken out with the contact beam. He's getting taken out. For some reason, I don't catch the puke there. Didn't exactly go perfect. It certainly could go worse. Now, this room is definitely one of the trickiest in the game. There are explorers here, and like many parts of this game, the few RNG spawns where you don't exactly know how it's going to go down. I know there's enhanced slashers and explorers. But they come from different vents, and the timing of them coming out is different every time, seemingly. So we're using the contact beam on the enhanced slashers, staying away from the exploders. But I get trolled here, because obviously there's a hacking machine to get out the room. Sometimes, and this happens again in chapter 13... Um, you can be just starting to use the hacking machine and it will spawn an enemy in behind you. That's obviously vulgar as hell. It doesn't happen immediately. It happens as soon as I finish the hacking machine. One more lords in. Or spawns in, I should say. And this door doesn't close properly. I think I end up getting puked on. But yeah, this room is tr tricky. Look, I try to run out, but... He pukes at me. I should have been turning around to catch the puke, but I didn't even know he'd spawn in. And I can't move backwards now. So now he's spawned. What? See that? How did I get hit, though? Now I've had to take care of him. I lost a bit of health, and then someone else has spawned. Now the door is finally properly closed, but there's an explorer and a slasher. I don't think they can respawn in here, but I'm not certain. By the way, that save station, that is where my second save would have been. That is where I definitely recommend you save, because this room here, when you walk into it, sometimes you can drop through the floor. It's incredibly rare. Perhaps it could happen in a few other areas of the game that I've never seen. But I have seen it happen before to casual players. Not on hardcore, thank God. But it can happen. And if there's a small chance... Then that's just scary. <laughs> that is why I make my second save there usually. But a bit of bullshit from the game there, but we're ready to proceed. And in this room, coming up, I'm going to utilize a speedrun strat. I used to speedrun this game a long time ago on normal difficulty. And I stopped because the stalkers were such RNG bullshit that it stopped being fun. Like, I prefer Dead Space 2 to Dead Space 1. But I prefer speedrun in the first game. And that guy, I have no idea where he goes. Look. <laughs> I couldn't find him. Oh, there he is. That was brilliant. But yeah, this room is a massive pain in the ass. You've got enhanced slashes. And you've got my favourite leapers. Cheeky conductor in there. I make sure to get that. And now I'm watching this guy because I don't know what he's going to do. Look at him. He's ready to troll you and you just know it. So I run for the elevator. And there he is. Oh my god. Oh, you piece of shit. Thing is, another will spawn here. There's a necro that kills himself in the electricity there. Screw that guy. Taking that battery out stops the electric. I use the battery on the leaper, stasis him, and then I run. Quite a few more are going to spawn here, so I'm ready in the force gun and just knocking them back and running on. 
few cheeky speedrun strats. That room. Personally, I think it's a room that it's good to get out of as quickly as possible. Just know that the slasher can respawn in here. But once you get to this room, I've never known him to come in. Still a bit worried, but I've never seen it happen. <clears throat> Got a lot of health items, though. Remember when I didn't have that many? A lot of contact energy. I must admit, coming back to the Ishimura like this, it does make me wish we could have explored the whole of it again, but... Oh well. It's going to be so cool. Now, here's another area where it's better to just run through. No point fighting here. <clears throat> Most of this game on Hardcore, I would not recommend doing that, but here... You'll be fine. Just keep going forward. You can even pick that ammo up on the way through. There's about, I think, three lurkers. One there in front of us. And as you can see, I'm just flying through. Even got time to pick up that loot and run on. Okay, this is quite a tough room, ladies and gentlemen. A really good one, though. Quite open plan. We've got the Swarmers. I'm going to take them out. And I stasis nothing, but then get rid of the, uh, the Leaper. I think I get trolled here. By either a Stalker or a Puker. Get a lot more credits for killing the enhanced enemies, ladies and gentlemen. Got 25,000 credits now. What are we upgrading? Capacity damage of the force gun to free. <coughs> and an all important one, though. You've seen how powerful the contact beam is. I just decreased the charge on it, which means that it takes less time before you can actually fire the gun. Makes a big difference, you can rapid fire it easier then. Look at that, the claw disappeared amongst the puke. Somehow I catch that one, even though I was really wondering what the hell had gone on. Stalker's claw disappeared. Look at that, both of them together. the dispatch. There's the fast gun line gun combo, ladies and gentlemen. I am guilty of using it a lot. But it's just so damn good. There's another potential good save point if you want to be brave and grind the whole of chapter 10 without making your second save. Ellie, I'm almost to the captain's nest to activate the tethers. Alright. The centrifuge looks full to full power from here. Great. Let's hope this works. It'll be tight. You ready? All set. I'll wait for your signal. Oh, 
<laughs> Man, I used to love watching CJ Garoff. He is a guy who mainly specifies Hitman videos these days. Hitman's his favourite video game series. But he used to play a lot of Dead Space back in the day, like 2013, 14. And he used to just punch the walls and just go crazy. There's a video, he's deleted a lot of his old Dead Space videos now, but there's one video in particular where it's got this heavy metal soundtrack on. And it, there's a lot of reverb on his voice. I think he's from, um, it's definitely from the US, but I think he's from the East Side. And he's putting this reverb on his voice. Yo guys, it's CJ. He's putting this um, <laughs> this bloopers video within the video. It was called Untouchable, where he basically did the, the game without taking damage like a lot of people like to do. It is so funny. These days he doesn't do those kinds of videos. He just plays a game and interacts with his chat. He's not on Twitch anymore. He used to be. He's just on YouTube these days, which isn't a good platform for streaming. I'd argue it's not a good platform at all. Fuck you, YouTube. But um, yeah, his old uh, Dead Space videos were hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Like playing at 4am and he got CJ got a little too hardcore. He got fucked over by a stalker. Avoiding his TK shot, which has happened to me in this playthrough. So, so funny. Clark going sick there, ladies and gentlemen. You can't even control him for a few seconds. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I should have stopped the video here, but I don't. I can't even be bothered to cut the video. That's how lazy I am. I've got a movie editor that I'm currently narrating this video on, but I'm not going to stop it just because I don't want to. So you're going to see a little bit of chapter 11 in chapter 10's video. Chapter 11 is, I won't say it's one of the longest in the game, but it's certainly not one of the shortest, so it doesn't really matter who cares in the grand scheme of things. But ladies and gentlemen, there's tons of stalkers in here and baby explorers. Turn around, look at that guy. Oh my lord, I knew he was coming, but you've got to be quick. You can get a bit creative here. You can, if you want, do what I've just done. It takes a really accurate shot. How, how does he not die there? Shoot the baby in the head. Never thought I'd say that before, but there we go. Shot the baby in the head again. That time I shoot it, knocks him down. But he's very sturdy, that guy. How the hell he didn't die from all that, I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> quick blast of the contact beam primary fire. Quick blast of the force gun alt fire. Obviously both very similar weapons. And we are done. Man, it's rooms like this which make me love this game so much. So many good encounters. Like, look at how slanted this room is. That's the way I like to do it. I like to run to the bottom immediately. But you've got to be fast. Step three. We're getting close to step three, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in chapter 11.